Host Randy Sneed, <coughs> George Nall, Dylan Colbert, Eric Jones, Lisa Mullane. Stand and pledge allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Minutes of January 2nd, 2019. Additions, corrections, discussion. Make a motion to pass the minutes of January 2nd, 2019. Second. There's a motion and a second. Any discussion? Not all in favor, signal both of us saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Passes to Lisa. There you go. <laughs> Citizens input. Citizens input. <coughs> MCEDC report. <coughs> there is Mark. no there is no MCEDC report. No monthly report. Old business attorney report. A couple things, guys. Some things appear in other places on the agenda, but the one thing I would tell you about is the farm lease. Um, I sent that via email to Bill Voris on January 2nd. I haven't had a chance to talk with PC yet, but I don't have that back yet from him. I um, don't know that she does sign lease. Um, but it sometimes takes a little bit of time for him to get that back, so I'm not worried about it, just letting you know. Um, the other item that we had up for business was an ordinance that repeals what we had called the net metering ordinance that we had drafted and put together back in 2016. And it was in March of 2016 that we put this together. And if you remember, what this was all about was people that basically had solar panels or somebody had a windmill uh, within the corporate limits and they wanted to basically erect something like that or put something in the solar panels on their house. Um, there was the possibility that by them doing that and generating electricity that it would kind of come back on the town's grid if you would and then the issue about okay what do we do with that in terms of billing them and how would we allow that how would we permit that we had an ordinance drafted that had several components to that um, it talked about applications it talked about agreements with the town and exactly how that would function now three years later or almost three years later uh Impa apparently had contacted jamie and jamie can fill you in on more of the electric components of this, but as I understand it, it's basically Infa saying we don't really want to deal with these net metering ordinances anymore. We would rather deal with the customers directly ourselves. And so Infa has put together basically a power purchasing agreement that they would enter into directly with the customer. And if you ask Infa as to why they're doing this, they're saying because Bond Council uh, is telling them that they can only have a certain amount or I'm sorry that they should have a cap on the amount of net metering that could be installed in each community and that limit is a 0.1 percent of the community's peak load and in a situation for Argus that amounts to a peak load of 5,609 kilowatts and the, therefore the limit on any one particular residence person individual um, that could be net metered would be a 5.6 kilowatts and that was saying that's basically one house. And so what this amounts to is basically I'm just saying we could have one person that would operate under your current net metering ordinance. After that, I guess they would have to deny it, shut it down. The input would end up buying it anyway. We could only deal with one person or one customer anyway. Anything over the over that, Impa would have to do an agreement like this anyway. So it, it just takes it away from us, makes it a lot easier in the long run. So basically, the town's the middleman is the way I would kind of interpret this. And, and Impa saying you don't need to be the middleman anymore if anybody wants to do something like this, that they would deal directly with Impa. So do we have anyone in Argus that's doing this? No. no. Nobody's currently. Yeah, according to Jamie, yeah, nobody is currently done anything with either solar, wind, uh, or any other kind of renewable energy resource that would be described under that net metering ordinance to 
the and, jurisdiction of that ordinance. And when we when we did these net metering agreements before, nobody had it, but we just wanted to get them in place before anything came, mm -hmm. just to protect ourselves. So now this is the way to go. So. So the ordinance before you basically says we're repealing ordinance 2016-5. Okay, so mm -hmm. we would then be without the net metering ordinance, but it also then directs any citizen that wants to uh, be involved with any kind of renewable energy source that they would just have to deal directly with EMPA and contract with them. While we're on this, does anyone want to make a motion and suspend the rules to pass this ordinance? So this is basically just a preemptive, this preemptive thing releasing the town from any kind of liability or anything to do with some kind of thing. We're not putting it all on the input. It's taking us completely out. Taking us clean out of the picture. And, and more than that, Sean, I think it's really basically it's Emma saying we can only have one person, one resident, one citizen of the town to do this at any rate under their current structure. And so anybody over and above one would have to deal with that anyway. And they're saying just to simplify the process, we'll just deal with all of them. Okay, I'll make a motion to suspend the rules and pass on all three readings, readings ordinance number 2019-1. I'll second it. Motion and a second. Any further discussion? If not, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passed. Sign this and get it right back to Lisa before we all walk out. Here, I got that name on the line too. That's the way. That's all I had to report, although I do note that the next item on the agenda is the is the UTV ordinance. <laughs> Just keep talking. <laughs> Guys, uh, Dylan basically put together a draft of this ordinance. Um, I went through and tweaked a little bit, sent it back to Dylan, and I think he's, I'll, I'll say, okay with the changes that I made. Um, but I know that George has weighed in on one issue. I know that Sean has weighed in on, on several things that he would like to see added. Um, you know, this ordinance has never had a first reading yet, and we're really still kind of in the, in the works, if you will. I'm, I'm happy to add whatever it is that you guys want to add. Um, take out anything that you don't think is appropriate, but it's really going to be up to the council to get an ordinance here put together to where you say, I can live with this, or it's the best it's going to be, um, and get it going. I see nothing referencing a speed limit on this. In this particular ordinance, there's not. They would be bound by the posted speed limits in, in a town. But that's not to say that you couldn't have your own independent speed limit for <coughs> these kinds of vehicles. We do for the golf carts. Yeah. Yeah. There's 20. Yeah, there's there's a lot of things that should have been oh, that can be added in there, but I mean for, for simplicity. No, I left out quite a few words and just had it follow on the old ordinance um, excuse me why so i did th i did think about that myself as i was been reviewing this for a couple of days and i went back to the paragraph that states all applicable local laws and that so i figured the speed limit would fall under those mm -hmm. that paragraph is where i figured the speed limit would come in but not notwithstanding i mean you can make it less than what's supposed to speed limit i i don't know but that's where I, that's why i didn't mark it up because i felt that, that was covered so you can't do that does anyone feel we need to make it slower than the stated speed limits? You, you think so? I think so. I think 20. Is there any post and speed limits less than 20 within the town? There's more than 20. No, less than 20. I thought there was a 15, the park's 15. 15, I think, the rest of yeah, I think there's one or two, I think. Maybe okay. maybe one offhand, I'm not, not looking. 
But yeah, yes. So you'd say 20 and less no. close to lower. What's 25? You said what? I think so. What? Was the golf 25 cart? 25 before? Oh, the golf cart? I think it's 25. I, don't, I can't go over 25 is what I thought it said. I don't think the current existing no. ordinance has any. It, it doesn't. It was, it was, I'm pretty certain that it was along the lines of what's posted here in, posted. in town. Um, I mean, I don't have a personal preference on it. I know this, though. The, those vehicles aren't made to do those kinds of speed on paved roads. The manufacturer on some of your research, it will even tell you not to ride it on roadways. So there again, I'm going back to my, I think it's unsafe for the road, my opinion. And I found the same information myself on the manufacturer's website that vehicles are not manufactured and intended for use on streets. I, I found that on the well, But I mean, it is what it is. A golf cart wasn't either. I mean, you know, we allow that. Golf carts were basically designed to be used on golf courses and on grass and everything, but that got through. And I know people that run these things and suck down road 70 mile an hour, and they never have no trouble. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, I'm not saying we have to allow that. I'm just saying I haven't seen it fall apart at 70 mile an hour. I'm just saying I don't want to be the guy that says, oh, no, I, I'm for it. Mm -hmm. Then something happens. Right. Well, that sounds stupidity if they only go 70 miles an hour with one oh, yeah. of the tires. Right. It's not 70 miles an hour, it's just they're not made. You get what I'm saying? I they're not made to do 40 miles an hour on the road. It's, right. a, it's a tire compound, but that's not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, those tires wear out fast. Yes. Because of that. It's also the stability of the vehicle when you go yes. up that, those kinds of speeds, too. <clears throat> we take my Ranger, because it'll go 62, but you take that up to 40, 45 miles an hour, and you lose all sorts of stability. You know, I, sure, I, I rode a Ranger that would do 75, and I drove at 70 down the road for like a mile or two, and it's just like driving a car to me. And then you had a big beast. I don't know. The point is, you know, that, I don't know, that's you know, what new dangers is this promoting versus what we already have on the road. It's opening up a can of worms. That's my but that's opinion. what I'm saying. I don't know what these can of worms are that we don't already have <clears throat> existing vehicles that we allow within this community. Okay, she's so. opening up all types of vehicles that might come out in the future. What about the other statutes that fall under that? The, 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 <clears throat> Derek, I don't know if you research that, the, where they can't be driven at, but at a certain distance from a residence at a certain time of night. There's there's multiple. Court in the, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not real familiar with it. I'm just. I'm just saying. I'm not either, but the way that I have drafted this ordinance is to basically push all that responsibility back to the registrant or the owner, mm -hmm. and it's up to them to know these things and follow those rules and guidelines if they are statutory. So do we have to have the streets posted then that they're allowed? I mean, no. Okay. Because there was one of the statutes. But to be honest, it will be up to your officers or any other officers to be knowledgeable and familiar with those rules and regulations if they intend to pull these vehicles over, issue tickets and warnings or what have you, okay. which I understand. And at that point, I think we need to up the registration fee because we are putting an additional burden on the police department. I think it should be $100 a year. That's my personal opinion because this is an extra burden. It will take extra effort. I'm not familiar with it. I think the registration, the annual amount should be higher. It didn't say in here, Derek, but on our golf carts, it does. If they're over 60, 60 or 65, they don't have to, they senior, have to register. Senior citizens in oh. spring, it's every four years. Right. They have to register, but they don't have to pay it. Correct. And it's $25 for four years. I disagree with that, too. I think everybody should pay equally. Then when did I take that out? Uh, I it, it's yes. paragraph C on the first page of the existing order. Of this one, but I'm uh, waiting this one. Where it talks about the registration fee, but it doesn't no, say no, no, no. What are you looking at? You're looking at the existing in place ordinance, or are you looking at what's been proposed? What's been proposed? I was just saying it doesn't say on there anything about that. Yeah. I think, I think you're right. Yeah. The old one did, but you don't right. really want that. I mean, you it's can been there for, it's been there for how many years? That doesn't make it right. Well, the new proposal says the annually $25. Yeah. 
but the golf cart fee is a for people over 60 or 65 they they still have to get it registered but they don't have to pay the fee. And how many of us here at that table not have to pay? Is that right? I pay. I'm not get it. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I, I agree with Suzanne on that aspect of, of senior citizens having to pay, but I mean, I think $100 is still a little, little I don't know. I'll never have one. So. <clears throat> well, if we go with one of my suggestions in there that the town chief inspects these and does a checklist and everything at that time, I mean, that is extra burden on them, and I do agree with that. Now, what that dollar fee should be, the $25 is too cheap. Okay. It, that's my opinion. And but I do think there needs to be an inspection process with time of registration that's done, that proof of insurance is proven, and I mean, people can say they have insurance, and they do it all the time. My wife deals with it every day. I just showed my proof when I did it. Yeah, so, I, mean, I think with the golf carts, they have to show the insurance. So I, I, I think that needs to be written. I mean, there needs to be an inspection process. So you want $25 a year, maximum speed of 25 miles an hour, golf cart, $25 a year, no matter who it is. I mean, or higher for whoever it is. No senior discount. Guys, here's the, here's the thing, okay? I'll, I'll change, put in whatever you want, okay? As long as there's a consensus here, three out of five of you want this change. You gotta tell me what it is we're gonna change, okay? Otherwise, we're kind of spinning our wheels in terms of one person wants one thing and two don't. Uh, I don't, I don't know. So, and also on age, it says no more passengers are recommended or permitted by the manufacturer of the vehicle. Is Corey or whoever going to have to go back and check from the manufacturer or the Say teenagers have five or six people in their vehicle? It's just, I think it's talking about the number of seats, is what he's saying. That's the way I take it, too. Because they, the you can't, in other words, these have a, a lot of these have a little bed on the back. So you, if it's got right. three seats, have you can't put three people in there and then six in the bed. You just put three people in. So that's pretty self explanatory It would be seat belts, not seats. It would be seat belts. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what I wrote in my suggestion. I added a seat belt. I mean, that's kind of insane. I added seat belts in my suggestion. I'll be honest, I didn't. I didn't have time to read all your suggestions. I didn't have a print. I don't have a printed copy with me either. Is it illegal to carry people in the back of a pickup truck anymore? Right? Yes. It is yeah, now, right? Yeah. Because years ago, you were carrying. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Anybody else? Okay. Anybody else? Okay. Okay. All right. So what we have now, or what we don't have, is a, is a maximum speed limit. We don't have a consensus on registration. And how often and when it would come into effect. Let's just say, like, I got mine last year for your permit for $25. So, do I have to come in this year and pay for $25? No, no you're, you're, to mine in four years is up. It's, 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 I think we should grandfather those, and then when that runs out, then they go under the new rule. I agree with that. I mean, I, I could agree to that. Then initially, I think it should be higher. I do think it should be 100 if you could be grandfathered in every year. It's going to take some effort and time, and our police chief is going to be putting in a lot more effort. Well, I doubt our police department's going to be overwhelmed with a bunch of mules and rangers just coming yeah. into town. You know, I mean. <laughs> this all was initiated, still go back, by someone who does not live within the town. But we want them to have access to town resources. That's the whole idea of it. It's a, it, we're a rural community, so we have to think of others outside of our own community. Oh, come well. on. If that really going to stop people from coming into artists, we also have bikes and fees and Of things. course not. But like I said, I mean, I just don't understand what, what the right. issues these are proposing. My issue is just so I just don't want to be on the hook. I mean, and you wouldn't be. No, I mean, I'm you're, you're on the record. I just want to be that I think it's not safe from the research that I've looked at. Well, if we can get a three out of five vote that this shouldn't that even make it right but right if, 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 if you get a three out of five vote that this shouldn't happen then i'll drop it right now but i mean we haven't come to that part yet and i don't plan on raising my kids in a retirement community i want to be able to have access and resources to new technology and new things to come into this community and be able to do fun recreational things instead of just hanging out and i don't know i, I don't know this is getting off topic Maximum speed, registration fee, 
Okay, well, we'll what's the maximum speed? It was 25. I, I thought it was 25. I don't know if I pulled that out of the air, out of the air, what, but I thought. So you said it was you 25. 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20. I think it should be 20 myself. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. So then I'm going to turn mine down. Here you go, catch me, Corey. I better see you on it. I don't know if you Okay. Registration fees, $25 every four years and free for senior citizens. Mm -hmm. You want it 25 every year? That's the way it's drafted. It says 25 per year. Mm -hmm. And take away free for senior citizens. You prefer it 100? Treat everybody I think 50 would be a great place. 50 freaking golf. That sounds like a better price. 50? Oh, boy. 50 bucks. That's just stupid. 25. That's just stupid. Let's just charge everybody for riding their bicycles. 10 bucks then, too. I don't want to get stupid on this. I don't have a problem with it. I just not like to to make money. You know, I'm thinking we can get some money for the school resource. Let's keep the language decent. Okay. 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 Current registration runs out. Expires. Well, it'll just basically, I'm going to draft the, if you have an existing current registration that's valid before it expires, yeah. Yeah. it's a lot of time you'll be bound by the new ordinance. They're bound right now by the <coughs> speed limit requirements and the other requirements, but just the actual registration. Okay. And I guess while we're talking about registration, I guess it's not in the ordinance as it's written, but I'd like to see it added in there. That at the time of registration, it has to be a inspection done by the chief to make sure all safety equipment and stuff in this ordinance is on that vehicle, and they show proof of insurance. I think that's reasonable. We we pretty much do that now. Say the register for the golf course. Right, and that, that that's modeled right there right. with the existing ordinance already. Uh, no, there was there was not anything. Oh, yeah, exhaust. Yeah, I want something. I would like to see something in there for OEM exhaust, and exhaust cannot be altered at all. OEM stands for original original equipment manufacturer. I think that's pretty reasonable mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah, as I said, those little gas-powered golf carts, you take the muffler off of them, the little suckers are loud. Too loud. Everything, everything golf cart or the batteries are don't have a muffler on them. Well, the electric my batteries yeah, are terrible. But not everybody has an electric. So it's going to be easy. Back to, back to the inspection component of this. I think Corey would do that just, I mean, I'm sure the officers would do that anyway just for their own coverage. I issue the golf cart. I guess, right. you know, my vision of that would be just like a, a checklist that you go through with everything. It's like in the order, you just check it off and you see that they got insurance and yeah. you're good to go. Where's this money going to? Where's it go to now? What fund it? Please law for the fund. Hey, if you're the ones doing it, then let's put it in there. If I'm worried about going to be a burden on you. That's, that's, mm -hmm. yeah, we should do that. Funded but not mandated. Or Monday, but not Sunday. We don't sell enough of them that I would even know where it goes. I mean, honestly, it's, you know what I mean? I mean? We, you know, it's in the fines and fees, I'm sure, but, you know, I have not sold enough of them. I know when they come in, we ask them to go to Corey, they show proof of insurance, well, most, and most of those are select them. I gotta be honest with you, I, I hardly ever have anybody that's under 60 get a golf cart from it. George, it's very well. I'm over 60. Are you over 60? If we open this up for UTVs, though, or other types, I think you'll see that change, I bet. That's my opinion. Okay, so we're good for 50 bucks a year, maximum speed, 20. No senior discounts, and it's every year. OEM exhaust. I believe that they ought to have turn signals on them at the very least as well. That's it. I can see it's in there. Is it a turn signal? I know headlights there is, but I did not see a turn signal. Uh, I know headlights and taillights, but no turn signals. So, 
Gary, would those not be allowed then after a certain time then, like by the state statute, it says they can't be ridden near a house? Yeah. 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 After like, I think it's 10 or 11 o'clock? Corey? I, honestly, I don't know. And, and that's just the thing is that there may be... So I mean, that does that's not, that can't trump, our orders can't trump state I'm statutes. Correct. And that's what I'm saying. There may be 83 other statutes that really aren't addressed in our orders. That's what I'm saying. That's my whole point. They're of the still thing. bound by the statute. Yeah, yeah. there's a lot of... I'm not saying one. Yeah, I get it. They don't all, because I'm just, just saying manufacturers. Well, that's going to upset no. some people. If in agreement did. with that, then, to have Derek add those? You, you, you know what, I'll talk to you later. Right? And then we're going to vote on it if you're going to pass it or not. Make some money. Speed limit of twenty five, fifty dollar a year, no senior discount. No more. Comes into effect when the current permit runs yeah. out. No EM exhaust. In the state Turn state lights. State. Turn signals. Okay. I think golf course. Well, that's it. it will be. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And that's the way. It's for, it's for the golf cart and every all the rest of it. Yeah. Yeah. I know, yeah, I know you can. These guys put the big wheels on and stuff. They and all that. It's just a lot. Okay. All right. Wow. All right. Is there anything else? Horn on it? Yeah. I, well, I don't know. That's pretty common when I looked at every other states and communities. Everything is common safety equipment is what they all require. It may be their state statute. I honestly don't know. It's not in our ordinance that it has a horn. I don't know. And, uh, I don't mean more oh, I, I think it ought to have a in the state statute. As well as a windshield. He's going to pull me over skateboard now. Yeah. Yeah. That doesn't want that yeah. Flying debris. Yeah. Passing guards. Oh, golf course. Thank God. That's my opinion. Why don't we just hold her hand? <laughs> out loud. Put an airbag on it, dude. No doubt. But are we on this? All right, we'll we'll get we'll another mark. draft out to <laughs> all the council. Yeah. And see where we're at. I'm not writing two marks. Can't go over 20 anyway. <laughs> Stay in the county. You better That's upgrade. Right. <laughs> That's all right. You brought the big eight cylinder mess. That's why there's two. Did they make what you Okay. Accept the attorney report. Make a motion to accept the attorney report. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Marketing for 2019 Red Door. Any feelings on this? I didn't see $7,700 worth that we paid for what we got, but that's just me. We got more than what we would have done on our own, obviously, but I didn't see $7,700 worth. It's one of those things you don't see. She's right. You're not going to see all the little things, but it's... She has done a lot. Yeah. I said it in the meeting the other night. that uh, I said in the meeting the other night that uh, she was here, and uh, she's very passionate about what she does and what she wants to do for the town. I will say that. And uh, I will agree that you're not going to see some of the cost. It's, it's just not evident, but it's there. Um, that's my opinion. If we want to market our community, market our housing, market our industry, I think we need to do it. I think we need to market. This is the same person who made some PC too, right? Yeah. She loves what she does. I know she does. She yeah, just yeah, I talk to her. Does she have a, a, a timeline or anything like future plans of what she plans on doing? That would be, you know, kind of what to expect? Some of that is hesitant because of where we are with housing. It is housing. Well, that was something I was going to ask you tonight about Colonial State. Where is that at? You know, she can't market our housing until we have something to market. Right, yeah, for sure. And she wants to do those things. Yeah. And there was quite a good talk the other night around things that she could do around the housing and that kind of stuff. So 
just a lot of unknowns right now. Okay, so is that somebody gonna make a motion to keep her keep her board in? Is that what we're looking for? I move to go forward with regular marketing with Carrie Langdon Martin. I'll second. There's a motion and a second to keep going with Red Door Marketing for 2019. Contract. Proposed. I just said we had a proposal for what? I thought last. I think it's just in the email on the front page. And the park department said last year they helped with the funding part of it. They would do that again this year. She worked with them also. Okay, any other discussion? I want to hear a signal if I'm saying aye. 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 Motion carried. Board openings, plan commission and BZA. Well, we have one here. For either one, Rhonda. It's, uh, so graciously requested or asked that she would be interested in either one to help in their community. And Phil Scott has left the plan commission, correct? PZA. PZA. Okay. Now, is this my appointment for plan commission? Robert. There are four citizen members who reside within the incorporated boundaries of the town shall be appointed by the president of the town board and not more than two members shall be of the same political party. So apparently I have to find out who these people I know these two are the Republicans, so I did not ask. I might have asked Lindsay, but I did not write it down. Um, Now, are you in any way, shape, or form employed by the town at this point or affiliated with any part of the no. town? No. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, but see, I thought it was like people that could help out when she's employed with our AMC, so I thought maybe that would count. Sorry to call her part of town. I know. Okay, so we can put her on the BCA and the fill spot. Second to put Rhonda on the BZA. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. We need somebody on the plan commission. Um, I will volunteer to do that if do you guys so point. Do they have a Democrat? <laughs> the 
because we need the, the bodies to even hold meetings, so I'll volunteer to get on that. It's up to you guys to vote them. I need four or three official members that are out of town government. And they are volunteer? For the planning commission? For plan. But only one can be on the council. So yeah, only one can be on the council. Then, so. Then, so the rest of us. Mm -hmm. But you need a vote. I don't. Mm -hmm. so I'm asking. Make a motion to appoint George Noel to the uh, planning commission. I'll second. There's a motion and a second. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Passed. All right, uh, township meeting. We got one set up. It wasn't the 24th or something. Township meeting? Yes, that is January 24th at 6.30. 6.30? Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't sure I could be here, but I, I, now I'm pretty sure I can. Okay. Yeah, I, I well, um, I, I, I forgot his name. I'm sorry. From the Troyer group will be here, and we'll have Shannon on speaker. Okay. So. On the same day? Same night. Yeah, yeah. 24th. Yeah. Uh -huh. Shannon is our grant writer. Right. Well, I knew that was up in here on that meeting. <laughs> <laughs> Do we need any of the uh, other people that like the EMS or fire department here them here? I already told Sarah and I told Mark. Okay. And they can bring whoever. The systems or whatever they want to bring. Okay. Okay, we need a representative for the uh, county auditor with Chuck to go over this partial thing while they decide to put this committee together. Chuck asked for that last meeting. I don't know if anybody decided they wanted to do it or not. So we represent the council for this. The state, because they want to do away with parcels. Let's say you have two parcels and you have one building on two parcels. When is that meeting? They haven't said anything yet. They just look, they're looking for representatives from the towns. Obviously, it'll be during the day because anything that has to do with government usually will already get paid. I'm serious. I'm not going to make any more commitments until I know. I, uh, I'd like to know until if I had a date, I would say right. yes or no. I can't commit until I would know anything either, I, especially if they're during the day. That kills me. I just have to figure out if I'm going to have surgery anytime soon. I have no problem with it being in during the day, but I need to get all this medical stuff figured out first. You go wobble in there. Have to throw your crutches the machine. See, that's not a problem. Um, okay, well, we'll, we'll, um, Is there any reason unless are you willing or you want to, or no, I don't try. Okay, can we so. I, I'm just asking. Is there a reason that I couldn't just attend the meeting to bring back the information, or does it have to be a council member? Because if it does, I'm okay with that. I'm just saying. Didn't specify. didn't specify, so let's get. I'll, I'll get a hold of Chuck and see if he's found out anything and get more particulars for next meeting because that obviously isn't a big deal right now. Anybody else have any other old business? Yes. Dylan from Redevelopment, how does Colonial State sit? Where is the process? I have not reached out lately. I can. I think I can give you a little bit of an update on that. And uh, okay. you, if you're talking about the sale of the lots right. and the development of those, um, that agreement or contract has been signed with a gentleman named Tom Best. Right. Best D. Uh, there's an E on the end of his name. Um, and two of those lots, by this point in time, should be conveyed to him. In other words, they have they. Let's put it this way. I prepared the deeds. I don't have a signed copy of the deed or know that it's been recorded. 
But I know I do have the signed contract that indicates the, the contract that is signed. Okay. That's the best I can tell you. Question on that then. Um, this contract was in for the redevelopment. Is he guaranteed every lot? So long as he performs his end of the contract, yeah. Say somebody else comes in to redevelop and says, hey, I want to buy two lots and do the same thing he's doing, and maybe sold. No, not without his consent. Okay. Anybody got anything else on old business? Last meeting we received financial statements. I've been looking through these. Just, am I correct, Lisa, that we came in under budget? We came in on under budget. About 70000 That's what I'm saying. Is that correct? Um, okay. Good. Okay. But we always over budget right here. So it's really not in under budget, but yes, yeah, it's under what you budgeted. That doesn't right. mean it's, it's under the over budget. Because yeah. <laughs> we had the well, two hundred thousand as a transfer out of the general fund was for investments. Right. So right now we have quite a bit sitting out there in investment. Did you believe it? Wow, that's awesome. We can discuss it at all last week. Thank you. Anything else? <clears throat> Who else got any other old business? Now I'll move on to new business. Uh, resolution 2019 Power Tracker. Went down. This is that little thing on your belt that says Power Tracker that everybody sees. It's, it's, it's a pass through, is all it is. We don't raise or lower the rate. If it's raised, it goes straight to the customer. If it's lowered, it goes straight to the customer. That's what this is. So I need a motion to pass resolution 2019-1. I'll make a motion to pass uh, 2019-1. Second. There's a motion to go ahead and pass resolution 2019-1. Any discussion? Gotcha. Gotcha. That's the key word. If not, all Sorry. in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Sign please. Pass it around so at least you can get that back. Anyone got any other new business? I have one thing I'd like to discuss with the council. Um, I became aware that the crossing guards are funded and under the police department, so to speak. I would like the council's blessing to address that in police commission with the chief and get them brought in under our SOPs. Just so that they're covered under our department SOPs and that, you know, that it's in. Right now, we have nothing stating that they even belong to the police department within our SOPs. Yeah, that sounds like a great idea, actually. I don't know, but it's intriguing. What, what is it? I'm curious, and I'm just hearing about this, but I'm curious what the actual code of ordinances says about crossing guards or anything to do with I don't even. We just turn them over to Corey's pretty much in charge of the crossing guards as far as um, take care of them, period. If they need something, he's supposed to take care of it. He's supposed to discipline. If I mean, stuff. we have, I mean, we've terminated. So. If I may, our new um, um, town policy that we got made, got redone, I couldn't find I brought this up to you and I forgot all about it. I can't find anything where it talks about the, the crossing guards. I think they left that out. We did. That's what I thought. So we, we, we have did. nothing in policy on the crossing guard. We did because I was. All that stuff that you guys had passed. I'm sorry. Yeah. With the times and everything. Yeah. We, that's, and that was know, something I that, that I was going to have to address um, is that, you know, most crossing guards are 1099s. They are 
subcontractors for the town. They're not, but we have not done that. We have always made them under the police department since I have been here. When we redid our employee handbook, it was brought to my attention that do you want to keep them as employees or do you want to 1099? So I guess at this point it is and it was brought to my attention that it was left out of the handbook. And I'm with Sean. If they're going to be under my supervision, then they should be in our standard operating procedures with special rules governing them or whatever we need. That, to, that's to that's do. my intent. Well, Derek agrees with that. Well, I don't know. There's a great big distinction between 1099 and what we call employee in terms of whether or not those town handbook or the town handbook could apply them, sure could, um, just as a condition of their employment. But I, again, I'm just curious to know or to see what any town code right now says about crossing drugs one way or the other. Oh, right, so we don't have it. Nothing. No. We had it in the town policy, but what's that the town policy? What do you mean by the that? The handbook that we just had done? Okay, the employee handbook. handbook. Yeah, the employee okay. handbook, yeah. And the old one, but they're not in the new one. Right. Okay. Well, if you go 1099, you might have double your salary because you're going to screw my money like we did the fire department EMS. So. You didn't screw people out of money, George. <laughs> yes, we did. No, no. Yes, we did. But, George, what I'm saying is that they can still be 1099s, but be bound by that employee handbook. Correct. <clears throat> Well, employee handbook aside, I, well, all I'm asking for is to get them brought in under our codes and regulations for the police department. So is that's all in line with the rest of the department. That's that's what I'm asking, and then we can worry about this handbook thing later. We can make up our own. I mean, we can do whatever. Because the rest of the department's and covered under our SOPs and standard operating procedures. And they're not be part of the police department. They should be too. Jamie, you want to monitor the electric department? No. If I can get away from all of it, that's good with me. <laughs> they belong there. Where they at? You guys do I agree. Yeah, whatever you've got to do is make us do it. Throw them in there. Thank you. Let's see how your rain stays here. Anybody else got any other new business? Yes. Okay. For 2019, I will not be representing the town council of the county development for the future meetings. Those are quarterly meetings. I will not be doing that this year. The last three plus years, I've been giving the Argus updates and I've been attending since I've been on council. But since Mark Vanderweel went off, I'm the only council person that's been there. Often it's council presidents. We've had a vacancy there, so I've stepped in. But this year I'm stepping back. So I've given the MCEDC, George, and Randy's names to represent Argus. And also in 2019, I will not be representing Argus in any stellar meetings. The stellar steering committee had agreed to continue meeting through 2019. We've had a lot of collaboration and teamwork, and we want to move the county forward. It's undecided at this time if we're going to go forward with another initiative, stellar initiative, I don't know. So it'll be up to the council to step up and fill that gap because I will not be doing that. Again, I've given them your names for the artist's representation. So I guess my question to you, what are you going to do for us? Are you serious? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you're not going to keep doing, doing the stellar that you've been doing. Oh my gosh, Joe. No, if you're, if you're, if you're going to back down from this, the stellar that we so graciously asked you to do and you've done for us for years, and you're not going to go to the other meetings that you volunteered for, what do you want to do for us? I am your utility liaison. I am the fire department liaison. I lead the task force monthly. Those are just a couple. Okay. There's other things. That's what we wanted to know. Thank you. Excuse me, I think it's time for me to leave. Ready? Are you staying? 
Next other new business, anybody got anything? <coughs> Department head reports. <coughs> Jamie? Yeah, um, you have my report in there. The, the one thing I did want to bring up was the two, 2019 paving project. Um, you should have that in your packet, the schedule for it. <clears throat> We've kind of, Adam Marsh has helped us lay this out. Um, we're going to advertise in the pay for January 29th, mm -hmm. and then again February 5th. And we're going to have a pre bid meeting February 7th, um, open bids February 19th, and then February 20th, uh, present bids to the council, and we'll make a decision who we accept. Derek has looked over some of this information <coughs> too, so. We're, we're not quite there yet, but we're real close to having it ready to put in the paper. So, just want to give you the heads up on what we're looking to do there. Cool. And probably get the okay to go ahead and get these notices advertised. Yeah. Move it forward. So. Good. Yes, that would be that would be appreciated. Basically, just, no. <laughs> just give the okay to. You're not approving any bids. Yeah. <laughs> You're voting or giving Jamie the okay to get the advertising going to advertise to accept bids on that time schedule. Mm -hmm. That's what I was going to say. I'm not letting you bids. <laughs> you need to make a motion. You need a motion to let. Make a motion that we let Jamie go ahead and uh, advertise the bids for the paving coming up in 2019. A second. A second. It's a motion and a second to allow Jamie to go ahead and advertise for bids for paving. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. <clears throat> You should have a report with all the numbers in it. We did have an eventful December. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look over here. I got, I got a few things. Um, <laughs> Officer Yergin. <laughs> We're ready. We're listening. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, go ahead. Officer Yergin, um, I sent him to the active shooter school and he's done with that. So. He can instruct now, instruct now and I, my, my plan is for him to do the school, active shooter classes, and the church that we were in the church the other day, um, the Methodist Church in Michigan, North Michigan. North Michigan. Um, I think they're kind of interested in it. So, in any businesses or, or whatever, and we can train, we do it for our training too. So, it's a good thing. Um, Corey, on that, yes, sir. When, when, when do we let you know that our church or organization is in? Just any time? Yeah, I mean, um, we'll have to. He, we're, he just got done with the class, and I, I gave him some some information. And so so we have look to at a month, week, two. Yeah, yeah. Just a rough guess. A couple weeks, maybe okay. we can get something put together. Yeah. I mean, we, look, what church do you go to? Randy? Church of Jesus Christ out there on the north end of town. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. Just get place. with get with me, and I'm we'll we, 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 we have a we have a, a deputy sheriff that goes to church there. Which one? Dale Poisel. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do whatever. Okay, so anyhow, we're, we'd be interested. That's yeah, why. Absolutely. I mean, that's why I yeah. wanted someone to go. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing, our new Marine officer passed his, uh, <laughs> passed his, um, uh, uh, medical and psychological, so we're just waiting for the approval and for the perf, and he should be good to go. And he's going to the academy February 4th. And the last thing I have is, um, it's kind of need your guidance too, and maybe Derek 7 Eleven North Michigan, the lot there used to be the grocery store. Mm -hmm. Had several complaints in the past with the trash, and the, well, it's it's owned by a gentleman in town now, and I, for the last few years, I've been on him, and I've wrote him a couple orders tickets, and it just keeps going nowhere. Um, do I keep writing tickets, or can we 
can we have the council clean that up? See what I'm saying? You know, Corey, George did talk to me a little bit about this, and that, that was one of them. You said that there may be a couple others. It, it's kind of the right. pattern that you right. the ticket. They pay the ticket, but they don't fix the right. problem. Um, and what I told George was that we may have to go a little different route with those folks in terms of looking at our, our nuisance ordinance. I think it's under Section 70 of the town code. Um, but, and, I, and again, I didn't, after speaking with George, I didn't have time. I didn't get into it, didn't review it or research it. But I'm pretty sure it involves a notice coming from the town that, hey, there's a public nuisance. You're in violation of this section of the code. And that needs to be rectified. If they don't, then that's basically a, a means to, to file a suit against them, get it in the court, okay, and then ask for it's called an injunction. In other words, an order from a judge. Or a judge clean it up or it, whatever. Saying you need to do this, that, right. or the other to comply with the ordinance. I mean, like with, with some of the like, I'll give a work order for the town and most of the grass. These are usually bare or, or vacant homes or, or whatever in the town and going. But, right, you know, not someone living in the house. Um, Somebody just kind of thumbs their nose at you and says, "I will pay the ticket." And I, I, I foresee a couple other residents that I'm having troubles with, right. so I can and see that going down that road too. It could be a time-consuming, and to be honest, it could be kind of pricey. But that's up to that. That's what they. It's up to the council, yeah. right? But that's why I think you'd have to go with this if that's not getting their attention. Just writing a couple tickets, and they okay. still don't get to do uh, the deal here. And I guess I can go ahead and send him another letter saying, you know, or something. Well, I think the next letter ought to be kind of geared towards the yeah. nuisance ordinance and citing those references to code right. um, and indicate that we'll have to proceed in that fashion if they don't get it taken care of. Okay. Yeah, ready. So I have what he said. Guys, got your fire department report. Mark, you got anything to add? <laughs> Not this moment. <laughs> It's been a good year. Fresh up, strong there. Did, did you see my text to you about the air packs? Is that you? Yeah. I, I did get a text. I didn't know what came out. <laughs> Any, anyhow, I saw on the news that Goshen, Middlebury, and one of the other fire departments, there's a federal grant now that you fire departments can uh, apply for and they for new air packs. Yeah, I saw a lot of news the other day where it's one of them. The township or something up there was getting all new. Yeah. Because they were out obsolete. And if we need them, it's something you guys want to look um, into. We are looking at, um, I just got pricing on them, but it'll be two two packs this year and five additional bottles. But that's all we're going to need this year. Okay. But once Doug approves which ones he wants to go with, I'll bring that to you because it is over there. A lot of the amount to spend. It. So, okay. Yeah, we have the EMS report. So since I couldn't provide you with December numbers, here's this year so far. <laughs> um, so far, we've only gone on eight runs, and I broke them down into what the call type was. Um, as you know, Artist Two is being picked up in the next few days to get repaired. So it has not gone on any runs this year, but Argus one is, I have to look into and ask you guys about, Randy and I had spoken that there was a cot budgeted in the five year plan and it was not purchased. So I wanted to look into that because I was just informed again that one of the cots are grinding. So. We need to look into that, maybe getting that purchased, or look into maybe what we can do to fix the one that we have. And that's it. Did you guys? We did. We did have a meeting, and uh, the big thing I told her was I'd like to see some more transparency. And as you see, uh, we have her here tonight. We also have a a report. Yeah. And uh, I've been trying to hit every meeting they have. And, you know, the big thing is we're trying to get more people on to the EMTs. Uh, drivers, not so much, but we do need EMTs. Well, drivers, and, and we she, need to. Yeah, we're, we're going to work on that too. But uh, the big thing 
Sarah's got some girls from Plymouth that would be interested in uh, coming down here. And like Sarah, they'd have to stay all night if they're on the night shift. And so we've talked about fixing up the uh, office and maybe moving some stuff around and, and putting in some additional beds over there so that we can do this. And I think it's going to be a great thing because that's what it takes to get somebody here. You know, what's a bed compared to getting a trained EMT to somebody's house when there's a heart attack? You know, you, you, can't, you can't put a price on that. So I think whatever we can do, and I, I'm really happy that she's, she's really trying hard, and, and I, you know, I'm hoping that we can build. If it was a perfect world, we'd have about 30 people. But it's not a perfect. So we're going to get as many as possible, and, and I think this is going to be a good year. She's got some good ideas and stuff. So we'll see what happens. Sarah, how are things going? I know you're new, uh, and you stepped into quite a bit. I just am kind of curious to see if things are coming together for you, or if you're to be honest. Um, I'm waiting for some more administration privileges I can get back to you as soon as I get those that way I can see run reports how caught up we are things like that make sure that um, we're up to date with everything but um, I had a meeting with um, Plymouth last Friday about switching our medical director that's who we actually <coughs> practice under um, currently we have Dr. Haste and he's retiring. He signed us for another year, but um, our protocols haven't been updated for a little while. And the Plymouth doctor said, you know, she already gave me the protocols. There's just a few stipulations, but she's willing to take us on. And that's going to be kind of at our pace. I need to get our EMTs in and trained so that we can achieve those stipulations that she's put forth so that she will sign on to us. But it's actually gonna save us money because we don't, she takes no compensation for that. Um, and also, we've struggled in the past with budget and things with the EpiPens. I don't know if you know how much those are a piece. A few hundred dollars, and you know, we have to stock two on the rigs, both rigs. Um, EMTBs, which we are all, um, can now draw up epinephrine as long as our uh, medical director okays it and she has completely again though we have to get signed under her and we need to be able to do these two stipulations which if you're wondering are what well, like a 25 question protocol test pretty much you read the protocols you understand them and then the second would be um, doing a mega code which for a basic it's pretty simple it's CPR we don't push meds we don't you know we don't do ET tubes things like that we don't have to worry about so just making sure that we have those two things covered. She's willing to sign us on. So, so with your ability to draw your own epinephrine, then I take it that would be a substantial cost savings to the budget. Significantly. Yeah. And if it expires, it's 20 bucks out the door. <laughs> Fine with that. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. Mm -hmm. Motion to accept the part of the head report. Move a motion and accept the department I'll second. Okay. Motion and a second to accept the department head reports. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carried. Claims. What's the highlight? <laughs> I got highlighted. Did you do it? I don't think it was. Oh, yeah. You got one for LED signs. Oh, that was my highlight. How'd you get that? Yeah. I just sent that to you. Yeah. Did you put it? Did you submit it back to Dropbox once you finished that meeting? Oh, I bet you I did. <laughs> and you, you made it public. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but she answered my questions. I wouldn't even open my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I was going to say, what? I, I know what they are. But when do you have them highlighted? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, that's the thing. Yeah. 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 <laughs> the claims for January 16, 2019, claims 47 through 109. The top five claims are as follows. 
Number one is payroll number one, which is $36,683.60. Number two is the town of Vargas water loan payment for $25,000. Sean, for anybody that, if you need to know that, it's $50,000 a year that is paid back to the electric cash reserves and from the water department. So it's one payment in January, one payment in July. Is that the money they borrowed from the electric department for the water plant? Yes, sure. for the water tower, right? Yeah. 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 The addition of it. Yep. And then number three is First Service Bank, the ambulance payment. And if anybody wants to know, the final payment will be in three of 21. And that is $18,254.29. Number four is Indiana Department of Revenue and Corporate Tax at $11,899.39. And number five is Indiana Department of Revenue Sales Tax at $7,757.61. Top five claims total $99,000. $594.89 and represent 58% of the total docket, which is $172,567.05. Make a motion to accept claim number 47 through 109. The second. Motion and a second to accept the claims. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Adjournment. Make a motion to adjourn the meeting. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you everyone for being here tonight.